Welcome into WMAR 2 News at 7. I'm Jamie Costello. And I'm Kelly Swoop. Maryland has some of the highest seatbelt usage in the country, yet 155 people died in crashes in the state last year because they failed to buckle up. WMAR 2 News' Jeff Hager shows us the renewed effort now to cut down on that number. 19-year-old Jonah Bainey was far more than a statistic. He was 19. He was going to Salisbury University the next day to for newly accepted students day. He wanted to be a federal law enforcement officer. But Joshua Bainey now provides a eulogy to his youngest brother who lost his life in a crash in Carroll County on June 14th of last year when he failed to wear a seatbelt. He was leaving his girlfriend's house. He was going no more than a mile and a half to Chick-fil-A just to grab some dinner. And unfortunately a car turned out in front of him and he rolled his forerunner and he was ejected through the sunroof. While the law requires everyone inside a vehicle to be restrained, a safety campaign is underway leading up to Memorial Day, targeting those who do not. So sometimes people say it takes too long. The reality is it takes three seconds. Just do it as soon as you get in the car, put that seatbelt on. The second excuse we hear is really, you know, it, it hurts my neck, it bothers my neck. You can adjust it up and down. It should not hurt if it's properly installed. Um, also people in the back seat oftentimes are not buckled. Those people can become projectiles. <coughs> and injure or kill someone in the seats in front of them during an accident. In the months since the fatal crash in Westminster, Joshua has established the Jonah B Foundation in his brother's memory. A tribute to a life cut short, complete with a painful message that seat belts can save lives. He had all his whole life to live and no parent should have to live with the fact that their son has died from a tragedy that uh, is totally preventable. In Glen Burnie, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.